Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Yolanda. Good morning, good morning to everyone. Hey there, Heartbeat Aaliyah, Heartbeat Doris, Heartbeat Elaine and Heartbeat Donald, Heartbeat Melodia, Heartbeat Belinda. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Shanice. Hey, Heartbeat Carolyn. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Nicole. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Bernice. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I pray you guys received sweet sleep last night. Woke up with bells and whistles on and ready to take on this new day, a day that we've never seen before, but it's a day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Rodney and Heartbeat Carolyn. Hey, Heartbeat Anita. Hey, Heartbeat Sherry. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the Heart Gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is throw the old out with the trash. Throw the old out with the trash. And so this is what we will be talking about the rest of the week. Amen. Throw the old out with the trash. And so we know the word old, it's defined as made or built long ago, the past, former or previous in or belonging to the past, having become, I'm sorry, having come into existence or use in the more or less distant past. And so we all know it's been prophetically spoken by many generals, by many, many vessels of God, that God is doing a new thing. And in order to walk into the things of God or the things that God has for each and every one of us, you've got to learn to let go of the past. You've got to throw the old out with the trash. It's time to move on. And so I'm going to um, talk from Hebrews 8 this morning, um, specifically verse 13. But let me just give you a little bit background, a little bit of background on Hebrews 8. So Hebrews 8 indicates that the temples, the rituals, and the objects of the old covenant were always meant to be symbolic. You know, and sometimes things that we do are rituals. It's what we know. It's what we've been taught. And we're just so used to doing it that it's habitual. Um, it says they were real and valuable, but their ultimate worth was in their symbolism. Those were always intended by God to point towards a better covenant, meaning that God always had another plan like he does for each and every one of our lives. He never intended for us to stay the same. He never intended for us to stay in a broken state. He never intended for us to stay in a depressed state. God always has a better plan for your life. God God always has a better plan for your life than what you dream up for yourself because the plan that God has for your life, you can't even conceive how big it is. Remember, this is the year of the bigger and the better and God's plan is always better than our best imagination. It says rather than something habitual like rituals, and again, I'm still doing background, rather than something habitual like rituals, God plans something eternal and lasting for us in his son Jesus Christ so God was like this we're not we're doing away with the old rituals we're doing away with the symbolism we're doing away with the idols he says I've got something better and that better is in my son Jesus Christ in my son you will have eternal life in my son you will be able to live life abundantly he says he came that you might have life first of all and then have life more abundantly so God had a better plan and that better plan took place in the new covenant. So it's get rid of the rituals, get rid of the law, get rid of the, you know, habitual things, get rid of the symbolism that, that's going on and get over here in this new thing that I'm doing that's in my son, Jesus Christ. That right there will preach. Some of us need to get rid of the old rituals. Some of us just habitually, you get up and you do the same thing each and every day. Your weekend is exactly the same. 
you won't open up your mind that there is something greater out there, that there is something bigger out there. Well, I'm telling you on this morning that it's time to throw the old out with the trash. And when you throw the trash out, you don't go back looking for it. And so you've got to learn now that it's a new day. God is doing a new thing. Whether or not I'm comfortable with it, oh, that doesn't matter. That, that You know, we, we're not even looking at that. We're not considering the fact of whether or not I'm comfortable or not. We're not considering the fact of whether or not I want to do it or not. What we're considering is I've got to be in the will of God for my life. And God's will for my life is better than what's going on in my life right now. God's will for my life is better than what I could ever imagine. God's will for my life is God's will for my life. And God's will will be done. Amen. So the Amplified Classic, the voice, the voice, the voice translation of Hebrews 8.13 says this. I'm going to read three translations. I think I have time to do that. Yes. Hebrews 8.13 voice says, with the words, a new covenant God made, the first covenant old, and what is old and no longer effective will soon fade away completely. What is old is now non-effective and will soon fade away. The Amplified Classic says it like this. When God speaks to a new covenant or agreement, he makes the first one obsolete, out of use. So your old life is now obsolete, out of use. And what is obsolete, what is out of use and annulled because of age is ripe for disappearance, means to be gone and to be dispensed with altogether. Hear me, Heartbeat Nation, that this new thing that God is doing, you can't bring the old in it. You know, you can't put new wine in old wineskins. So God needs you to release all of the old, release all of the baggage, release all of the past because where he's taking you it's a new place it's new territory it's new relationships it's new friendships it's new opportunities the old cannot go with you you've got to release the old throw the old out with the trash and listen it's gonna be picked up by the trash man it's gonna be God the NIRV version says God called this covenant new glory to God so he has done away with the first one he has done away with your own life. He has done away with the mistakes. He has done away with all the things that has held you back. He has done away with the way you are used to doing things. He has done away with all the habitual things in your life. And what is out of date and has been done away will soon disappear. When you begin to release those old things and throw the old out with the trash, there is now no memory of it because now you're moving forward and you're walking in the newness of life you're walking in the new newness that God has for you you're walking now completely in the will of God for your life see when we continue to concentrate on the old we're not really in the will of God for our lives because God doesn't want us to hang out in the old in the old is a whole bunch of mistakes in the old is a whole bunch of regrets in the old is your past in the old is where you were broken in the old is where you were bitter in the old is where you were angry but when you get over here in the new it's the joy of the lord that is your strength it's in the new that you're not even dependent on yourself it's in the new that you realize that it's jesus christ that's been carrying me all along in the new you realize that i can do all things through christ it ain't me i don't have anything to do with it it's in the new glory to god where your thoughts begin Get to line up with his your ways begin to come up to his it's in the new that you really understand i am truly made in the image of god and then you begin to walk into that thing you begin to walk in the newness because now you understand who you are now you understand but god now you understand why you got to keep a praise on your lips now you understand why you got to keep a worship in your heart now you're in the new See, it's in the new that I can enjoy the peace of God. That peace that surpasses all understanding. See, over in the old is where you did all of the worrying and it's where you did all the doubt. But over here in the new, I'm operating in faith. I understand that faith is the currency that allows things to happen. Over here in the new is the faith where I see past my nail. So I might be right here currently today, but by the end of the day, by lunchtime, my life is going to change because I see past my nail. And so here, this is what you've got to understand.
understand. We, we throw out the old with the, with the trash. Don't blow a new opportunity with old habits and an old mindset. I'm going to say that again. Don't blow a new opportunity with old habits and an old mindset. When God presents this new opportunity for you, don't you blow it with your old thinking. That is why you've got to stay in the word of God so that your mind can be renewed. You know, I like to say that you you can switch your brain. Switch your brain to the new. Your old thoughts fall under the old covenant. Your old thoughts fall under broke, busted, and disgusted. No more habitual rituals. That is the old. Jesus is now on the scene. Remember last week we talked about communion and the old sacrificing for the remission of our sins, but that is the Old Testament. Jesus is the New Testament, and Jesus is the one who died on the cross for our sins. Remember, it is the time of communion that you get to testify. You get to preach your own sermon about him dying for you. Every, and everything that you've gone through. So we got to remember that he is now calling you into the new. Throw out the old with the trash. New means this, that you've got a fresh start. It's a new beginning. So stop bringing old relationships that are done over into the new. Stop bringing generational curses over into the new. When God is trying to change things and make you understand that you now live under generational blessings, stop bringing the old mentality of blaming the devil, of blaming demons, of blaming everybody else. Look at yourself and this new thing that God is doing, that he is preparing you, that is nobody else's fault, that God is doing a new thing in you. Listen, it's, you've got to understand no more old, throw the old out with the trash, throw the old out with the trash. I'm going to close with this because this is an example that everybody can get into. You know how when you, maybe when you first started cooking and you first learned how to cook macaroni and cheese you probably did it with the box with craft where they just had the noodles the powder and they told you to add some milk but then when you learned how to cook macaroni and cheese you know when you get the half and half you get the eggs you get the butter you know you get the smoked gouda cheese you get the cooper cheese you get the velveta cheese you get the monster cheese you get the mild cheddar you know you get the the um um the what did i leave out anything the half and half, and then you know you 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 get your little breadcrumbs and you mix it with a little bit of paprika so that you can have a crust. Now listen, when you made the old macaroni and cheese, it didn't take a long time. You just had those few ingredients. But you see, I just listed quite a few ingredients when we do the real macaroni and cheese. It may take a little time, but it's worth it. So when you begin to mix up all of those ingredients, you know you got to put it in the oven and it got to bake for at least forty five at least forty five minutes so that it can be good so that you can see the cheese bubbling all around the edges it takes time right but then when you pull that macaroni and cheese out you can't dive right into it it's gotta set a little bit yeah I know how to cook it's gotta set a little bit you can't just go and put the spoon in it cause it's gonna be all messed up you gotta let it set let not cool but let it set a little bit so that when you get ready to put that spoon in it and you cut it and however you do it because you don't want everybody to just dive right in it when you begin to pull it out it's like a perfect square if you cut it or it's a perfect scoop and it's now being able to be presented now it's being able to be tasted oh taste and see listen this is what happens when god tells you to get rid of the old and jump into the new it might take a little while it might be a little bit more things that he has to do you know it's a little bit more in prepping when you're making real macaroni and cheese versus the box the box takes you by 15 20 minutes but when you get ready to make the real macaroni and cheese prep time and cook time could take you almost two hours but oh my god when it's done when it's done all everybody in your house wants the taste of it and not only do they want a taste of it they want more of it well that's what happens when you get rid of the old and you get into the new god begins to perfect you he's preparing you now once you are presented the glory of god is on your life and everywhere you go somebody wants a piece of you because they realize that you are highly anointed that the glory of God is on your life and they want to come back for more they want to know who is this Jesus that you serve see that is what happened when I get rid of the old and I get into the new 
So Heartbeat Nation, I'm going to stop right there. That's the daily dosage for the day. Throw the old out with the trash. Get over here in the new. Listen, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms, God Wants Me Whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, come on, come on. Let's say it together. Say, God Wants Me Whole. And I am, again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS, the wholeness, a.k.a. the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. I'll see you right back here tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. as we continue on in this series. Throw the old out with the trash. Have a speckle amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. I'll see you in the morning.